Oh my God, I am so sick of Stacy. All she cares about is herself. Isn't Stacy your best friend? Yeah, well, not today because she's being super annoying. I'm trying to like tell her about some of the problems that I'm having and all she can talk about is her stupid baby. You mean the newborn baby she just had? Yeah, I was like trying to tell her that I got a flat tire and it was so messed up too because I like, yeah, I cut the guy off, but I mean, I, he didn't have to like honk at me and make me run onto the curb and now I can't get to work. And all she can talk about is her, oh, I have all these responsibilities and she just can't even pay attention to me for a change. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think she's just really busy with her new baby. Oh my gosh, don't you start to. Anyway, I need you to take me to work, so let's go. You're not busy, right? Well, I was in the middle of reading. Okay, great. And then on the way, let's get something to drink. Your car, your treat, right? Are you a really nice person or are you a doormat? There's a really big difference. And today's video is going to show you and give you the courage if you are a doormat, uh, what you're gonna need to know and all of the information that's gonna motivate you to wanna change so that you can have a better result. So you're not letting these toxic people in your life. And if I say toxic person and you know, boom, exactly who comes to mind, then this video is for you. And the book that I found this information in that kind of gave me some insight as to sharing this video was from The Seasons of Life. And this is by Jim Rohn. And I love Jim Rohn as a motivational speaker, but I never really thought of him as um, an author. I just always used to listen to his his motivational speeches. And so when I came across this book, this book was suggested to me by uh, It's Barbie's Books on Instagram. And Barbie and I have become really great friends and she suggested this great book to me and I love it. It's super small, but it's jam packed full of really great stuff. Check out what I found for all of you on page 34 regarding being too nice of a person. It says, Life is a delicate maneuver of selection, rejection, review, and change. Each person entering our world brings either a contribution or destruction. Trying to be always nice is to invite certain disaster. Those with poisonous attitudes, strange opinions, and caustic conversations love to look for someone nice who will listen to them. They love to dump their verbal garbage into the mental factory of anyone willing to listen. A major challenge in life is for each person to learn the art of standing guard at the doorway of their mind. Carefully examine the credentials and authority of those seeking to enter within that place where your attitudes are formed. Attitudes are formed in the mind and we have to stand guard. We cannot simply say that we are being nice to people. No, you are letting people come in who are uninvited that you really don't feel comfortable with, which brings us to the next important part is how do you feel after you get done interacting with a particular person? This is a great indication to let you know whether or not this person may be infiltrating that sacred place or not. If you feel really drained at the end of that interaction with that person, or if you feel like you've betrayed yourself, maybe they've kind of roped you into gossiping about somebody or talking poorly about a situation or feeling like you're speaking negatively when you really weren't in a bad mood. This is a great indication that these people just have a little bit too much influence and they're able to infiltrate this space and get you to do things that you really don't want to do. So you can do a couple of things. You can cut this person out and remove them. If you really don't feel like you are strong enough to be within their presence and still maintain the positive energy that you already had before you met them and create that healthy boundary, or you can create an energy bubble. I have another video, I'll leave a link so that you guys can watch it if you want, where you can actually interact with those people, still hold your energy and you don't have to contribute to the energy that they're projecting and you don't have to pick up on it and feed into it either. A great little tip that I'm gonna leave with you, if somebody ever gossips in front of you and you really don't feel like gossiping, is you can either advocate for that person, you can say things like, well, I actually really liked what so-and-so was wearing or, oh, that seems so out of character for that person to behave that way. This is gonna let the person know that you're not interested in talking ill about that person and that you actually like that other person. And that'll kind of deter the conversation from going negative about somebody else and keep you from gossiping um, about someone that you really had no intention of gossiping about. I hope this video helped you to create boundaries where maybe there weren't some 
And to really see that it's not about not being nice. It's about protecting what's up here, the mind and how powerful it is, because that's where your attitude is formed. And that has a result and a lasting effect within your life. So stand guard and check the credentials and authority of those people who want to infiltrate your mind. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow, booksters. Hey there, thanks so much for watching the video all the way to the end. And thank you for all the support by clicking the like button and the subscribe button, it helps to support the channel. Also, I'm over on um, Instagram, I do IG lives and coaching and I leave some bloopers on there as well. And thanks so much for commenting. Um, I read all the comments and I really appreciate them. Thanks, bye.